What's up everybody, FHRC Brewing here today, and uh, my girlfriend and I are back here in Delta RC Raceway here in Antioch, California. And today we're gonna do a little bit of a um, toy grade versus hobby grade RCU uh, race here. But um, we're gonna have the slow driver, which is my girlfriend, driving the hobby grade RC, which is the fast car. And I'll be driving the slow car, but I'm a fast driver. So this is basically fast driver, slow car versus slow driver, fast car kind of thing. So. Here we are. I'll be driving the hypercars, uh, hyperchargers, sorry, um, red Ford GT, which you see over there. And my girlfriend will be driving her Latrax uh, rally car, which is uh, right over there. Wish us luck. We'll be doing four laps. Go up there, go to the 
winner is, which is me. I'm gonna be letting my girlfriend drive my uh, my red car. So in the meantime, I'll be before I get my Fortec running, I'll be driving her car for a little bit. That's probably off. Check the controller if it's off. Check the car though. Maybe the car is on. Maybe the car is off or something. I'm quite surprised by the handling on this car actually. It's pretty good. This is what happens when I try to drive around a track with one hand. Dead. And there you guys go. That's my girlfriend's uh, the track rally car. Seven to eight point four. Eight point seven. Eight point eight. That voice in the background, that's just lap times. 8.8.3. Oh, oh. Ooh! 11.6. 11, 8.9.0. Okay, so I'm back home. Um, if you guys are wondering, why didn't I film my Fortec out on the track? I did test drive it. And uh, first of all, I got new tires on, on the rear. I don't need, I, I'm still good with the fronts on this thing. Um, first of all, the reason why I did not put the Fortec out on the track, uh, first of all is um, these tires, these Amazon tires will grip really well out there on the track. Only problem though. Once traction roll ended the life of this poor Amazon tire and wheel. The tire store is still fine. The wheel is not. So much for ten dollars. <laughs> but I had fun. I did test drive this one, but unfortunately I got that thing off camera. But next time when I go back there with my girlfriend, I promise you guys I will be putting um, the Fortec out on the track once again for you guys to watch. Um, I also brought my Slash over there to try out, but they said that the um, short course trucks and, and truggies like the Rustler are not allowed there on the carpet track. Which is kind of a shame though. Um, probably when their off-road off-road events are on for the carpet track, maybe they can. I I think I think the last time I talked about, it, I think they said that it's okay to bring the Slash and Rustler when the carpet track is open for off-road. But the only off-road cars are allowed on the on-road layout on the carpet track because the reason why I'm saying this, the carpet track only they only have one carpet track and the carpet track is alternates the layout between on-road and off-road every two weeks so 
the only off-road cars you can use on the on-road layout for them is is uh, buggies such as the Traxxas Bandit, your low C8, your associate RC10 B4, RC10 B4.1 and so on and so forth. But trucks like these like the Rustler and Slash, um, they're not allowed on the on-road track. So yeah, once again, I'm sorry that I not post a, a video on my Fortech uh, on the Delta RC Raceway in Anaheim, California, where I where my local RC racetrack is at. It's just because of this. Fortunately, I did not bring my other wheels with me. Plus, they were really bald. But I do have some RC con. I still gave you guys RC content, and um, yeah. But once I get back on the track again, I will film a video on my Vortec running. Until then, talk to you guys again soon.